Android users without a Pixel or Android One device can now track their digital health thanks to the launch of Action Dash. But how does it stack up against Google's own digital well-being? Well, let's find out. So it's worth noting that whilst digital health and our overall smartphone usage is at the very core of what Google wants to help us manage, it's a shame that they only offer the digital well-being app for Pixel and Android One handset users. This is where Action Dash comes in and it does a great job at offering anyone with a smartphone that runs Lollipop or above a way to keep track of their overall day-to-day -day device usage. The app is free to download and includes in-app purchases to unlock some extra features whilst also removing adverts, which personally I don't feel is all too necessary especially when it costs nearly $7 to do so. That said, the dark mode is a welcome addition as is the ability to back up your stats to Google Drive. Action Dash isn't exactly streets ahead of digital wellbeing, instead it adds just enough features to make it a worthwhile try at the very least. Whilst both are still pretty basic, the ability to see system apps and get a tiny bit more detail is one that makes Action Dash a slightly better option at this point in my opinion. Digital Wellbeing might lack some features, but being a stock application means that it retains a few core features such as wind down and app limits that simply won't make it to Action Dash. Being able to limit your usage of a particular application would have been a great tool for those looking to curb usage of certain social media apps for instance, but you'll have to hold out until Google hopefully makes Digital Wellbeing a completely standalone option. Whilst Action Dash is certainly a great third party option for those looking for Digital Wellbeing on non-Google and Android One handsets, it might not be the complete experience some were looking for, despite adding a few neat features. Some of you out there might already be aware that the Microsoft Launcher has already added some very rudimentary digital health tracking features, but although they do exist, it doesn't compete with either Digital Wellbeing or Action Dash in my opinion. Either way, if you would like to check out Action Dash on your smartphone, I'll leave a direct Google Play Store link down in the video description. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed this super quick comparison, and subscribe for more Android and Google focused content just like this. This is Damien for 95 Google saying thanks again for watching, and I will speak to you later.